Welcome back everybody to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today's adventure leads us to Halls of Origination, where we are in Oldham, and I'm going to be showing you how to get out of bounds. And uh, it's a fairly simple glitch, but before we do that, I want to draw your guys' attention to GamingHero.io. I will put a comment and a link in the comment section. Uh, Hero.io is a place where you can go and find hundreds of articles and guides on how to farm gold in World of Warcraft, also mounts and toys. So if you're looking for a place, please go check it out. I'll put a comment in the uh, comment section below. Please use my affiliate link. I just got affiliated with them recently and I'm excited to help them grow. Uh, if you're looking to farm more gold in World of Warcraft with a... And a in a good way <laughs> this is a great way uh you if you sign up using my link uh it would be a big help and um i'm, I'm gonna help them get growing so uh yeah definitely check it out so all right anyways let's get back to the video enough with affiliate links um over here in the corner right after we took out earth Ra uh earth rager pata i guess he say his name pata it's a fancy name I built a seesaw in the corner, as you can see, right over here under the stairs. I have already made myself big with the giant growth potion, so we're going to jump on the seesaw. And we're going to be already out of bounds. So what we're going to do, is we're going to come right out here, and boom, we are out of bounds in the halls of origination. Now, the next step is we need to figure out where to go, because I have never been out of bounds in this dungeon yet. So I'm excited to explore these surrounding areas. So let's go take a look around and I think we can mount up yeah we can now we got to be careful here we don't want to clip back into bounds or hit a death wall I don't know where the death walls are or the DC walls I've never been outside the dungeon like I said and this is my first time exploring so let's go take a look now this is one of my favorite dungeons because uh, cataclysm is my favorite WoW expansion <laughs> I'm just I'm kind of a uh, outcast when it comes to Having my favorite WoW expansion. At least I didn't say Shadowlands, right? <laughs> it could be worse. But yeah, I, I just, I really enjoyed Cataclysm. Not only because of, uh, it was just a, a big time of when I started to really play World of Warcraft. Um, I didn't play it much. I did play a lot growing up, but I was too young. I was a kid. I didn't understand how to play back in Burning Crusade and Wrath. So as I got older... I uh, really started playing my first very, I guess you could say first expansion I played all the way through was Cataclysm. Because when I was a kid, I would just spend all my time at the auction house, um, spending all my gold and buying things. So I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> all right. Well, this is a really cool shot of uh, Halls of Origination. We're going to take a screenshot here because that's a cool screenshot. And I love the desert theme. Um, now, unfortunately, it won't let us mount up, which is kind of strange, but okay. I didn't think that it... I thought that it would. But one place I want to get to is I want to get back to the entrance. So let's start heading out this way. And let's go take a look and see if we can find the entrance area to the uh, dungeon. Now, I think what I'm going to start doing in the future is I'm going to start breaking up the videos into each section and each expansion. So what I should have did from the beginning is I should have started with Classic, and then I should have worked my way up all the way to Dragonflight. And I think I'm going to start doing that now. So I think for now, what I'm going to do after this dungeon, I'm going to go back to Classic Dungeons and breaking out of bounds and seeing what's outside of them. I have covered a lot of them already. But I think it'd be fun to still do a lot of the classic dungeons that I missed. And so that way we have a series of videos that you guys can look forward to in each expansion. Now coming over the horizon here, it looks like there is just desert after desert after desert out here. It's kind of a wasteland. Now I'm assuming this over here is the starting area. So if we were to fly out that way, I think it would actually take us back into bounds there. So we're actually going to head out this way. And we're going to keep walking forward here. Now, I just want to say thank you again to everybody who's been supporting the channel. We are currently at 3,800 subscribers. We're almost to 4,000. We're getting there. Uh, that is just incredible to me, all the love and support you guys have been showing. Building a huge ATN Discord on the side. 
it's just been amazing to me how much uh, we've been growing in these past few months. And uh, without you guys, I wouldn't have an ATN channel. So I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been tuning into these videos, liking them, commenting. It means a lot. It means a lot to me. Um, never thought my YouTube would ever get to almost 4,000 subscribers. Like, that's incredible. Um, and this is just the beginning, my friends. All right, let's go head over this way. As you can see, you can kind of see a good out-of-bounds shot of the dungeon. Now, I'm assuming that's not the entrance. That's the entrance over there. But I don't think it's possible to get over there. Or actually, maybe if we walk around. So, But we got to be careful that we don't clip back into bounds here. So we're going to stick to the right side. And we're going to head back out this way. It's definitely a cooler looking dungeon from the outside. I love the whole desert theme. I feel like we're in like uh, Aladdin, the Disney movie. <laughs> it's really cool. We just need a flying carpet out here. And a genie. I just love the ambience of this place. And I love that the music stays on too. A lot of times you clip out of bounds out of dungeons. And the music stops, which really sucks. I'm going to turn up my volume here a little bit. By the way, if there's any dungeons or raids or anything you guys want me to do, please comment down below. Um, I love suggestions. I love trying out different places. I got a backlog of videos that I definitely want to do and ideas. So um, I think I'm going to slow down my upload rate a little bit because I have been releasing one video a day, which is a lot. I was happy to say that the top five Easter egg video did really, really amazing. Which, maybe I'll be doing a lot more of those in the future. Um, thank you for showing support to that video. Now, unfortunately, can we mount up again? Ah, oh, we can. Okay, good. There we go. But you know what? Because we're in this dungeon, we're going to ride the camel. Forgot about that. Why aren't we riding our camel? This fits the whole theme of Oldham right here. I think this is one of the best mounts in the game. Personally. Now this really fits the theme. Alright, we're going to make our way out this way and get behind the dungeon. There's some really cool architecture out here. That you're never supposed to see. But I think Blizzard did a great job with this. As we're traveling along here, you can see there's a lot of desert out here. What's really cool about this place is that you hear like wind and stuff going with sound effects. So that's kind of cool. It does make the desert feel alive. And we have the sun setting over there in the horizon. Let's go to the edge of the world over here. I want to see if there's anything on this side. I'm hoping we don't dismount because this is making our journey a lot faster and we dismounted. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to dismount that fast, but I mean, we did go for a while, right? So it seems like just on the very outer edges of the map, you have to dismount, unfortunately. By the way, if you guys haven't seen the Gnome Run video, I highly recommend you go check that out. Um, Gotham Knight, he is part of the ATN Discord. He's also a sub on the channel. He spent two hours editing that video down to almost 20 minutes of footage. He did a great job on it. Uh, he just uploaded it last night, and uh, we were able to watch it today. So, had a lot of fun. We were laughing, enjoying the live preview of it. Had a good time. If you haven't, I'll, rec I'll put his channel down in the comment section below. Please go give him a like, a, a, a sub as well. And uh, go support him and his work, because uh, I know he's been trying to also grow his YouTube channel. But yeah, he did a great job. Oop, and I just screen captured on accident. Now, this is interesting. We do got a desert wall out here. That's some weird texture. It's all spiky. And it does go all the way down. Huh. This is a cool view right here. Now, that's a cool shot. I feel like we're in the middle of the oasis here. Man, I love the sunset in this map. This is a cool, 
or sorry, not sunset, the sun, I should say. Let's get a picture of that over here. That's pretty awesome. The music is just perfect in this dungeon. Now I'm hoping if we make our way out this way, we can mount back up. And not only mount back up, I want to see if we can get to the entrance of the dungeon. Which I think we might be able to out here. Can we mount back up? Okay, not yet. Hoping we can ride our camel soon. We're going to switch out our other mount for the camel. So when we can mount back up, we'll be good. Now I'm going to be quiet for just a second. I want to give you guys a moment to check out all the architecture and enjoy the music out here in the desert. Alright, now this is a cool shot. I love like the sandstorm effect out here. I wonder why it's only on this side though. That's weird, right? Why is it only out here? Why isn't this effect on the other side too? Or was it and I just missed it? Gotta go check this out. Let's go run up here, see what's going on. Ah, this is really cool. There we go. We're finally making our way out this way. Let's go see if there's anything over here. Love the vibe out here. It's like an oasis type effect. Or a mirage. I wish Blizzard would put more Easter eggs out inside these maps. I think it would make them a lot more fun. But you're never supposed to be out here to begin with, so I understand why they don't do it. Does make sense. Now that's a cool back shot of the whole dungeon there. Get some cool views out here. Let me zoom in. Take another screen capture here. And let's keep going up this way. We're getting close to the top of the hill here. Well, I guess I lied. I thought that was the entrance. Ah, maybe out here. Thought maybe it would break us back into bounds here. I guess not. Let's see if there's anything out here. Ooh, can we fly to the other side of the map? That's the question. Oh, okay, we don't need to. <laughs> I guess we're good to keep walking. Thought maybe we had to do some maneuvering. Looks like we found the edge of the world out here. I was hoping maybe we could fly back into bounds. But it doesn't look like it's working. Sometimes when you flip out of bounds, you can fly back in. But I don't know how far that goes out. Especially for, I don't know if this is the whole dungeon right here. or just part of it. But I don't want to get in like a DC loop. I think what we'll do is maybe we'll try to fly back into bounds right here. See if there's anywhere. Nope. Can we mount up? Nope, can't mount up either. I'm curious to so what's over there on that landmass. Oh, gosh. Woo! That was close. We almost walked off the edge there. Gotta pay attention where I'm going. 
Oh, we're going back into bounce. Where are we at? Ooh. This is the last boss? Where are we at here? There he is. Oh, okay. We're at a boss. Hello. It's a cool shot of the boss up close, though. We can't attack him, because normally we're not supposed to be here yet. Well, guys, I think I'm going to end the video right here. Um, thank you for uh, tuning in. I appreciate all the support you guys have been showing and all the love. You guys are awesome. Uh, I can't wait to hit 4,000 subs and uh, to keep going. As always, my name is Nathan. I will catch you on the next one. Take care.